Hello everyone, uh, my name is Raja. I work for A Corner School of Watering and I cover Blackburn and Darwin area. Today we are doing first mock test with Georgia. How are you doing Georgia? Are you Good, okay? Yeah. She's a bit camera shy. <laughs> I have to convince her to do a video recording today, which she did. Um, I know she will be okay. I think uh, with the pressure, I'm sure Georgia will do good. How many lessons did you have with me so far? This is my fifth. Yeah, fifth lesson. Uh, Georgia was an experienced driver, so I'm just polishing her skills and uh, finger cross, hopefully she do that very good. Now, Georgia, uh, I'm going to give you the instructions today uh, and then you're going to be doing independent driving by following the sign later on, okay? Now, if I give you no instructions, you always follow the road ahead unless the road signs and markings tells you otherwise now guys uh, all the good things Georgia do will show up as a green any minor faults um, will come up as amber any serious or danger fault will come up as red to confirm you guys and to let Georgia know the mock test is not about passing or fail it's all about polishing your skills so you get ready how will the real test will be really but is also make you a good independent driver as well though yeah so i'm going to behave like an examiner now do you have any question before i go into the examiner's mode nope. no so can you read the car number plate please for me pe60 fjx good and can you please tell me that how can you check that your brakes are working correctly before you start a journey if you press them down, they shouldn't be spongy or slack and the vehicle shouldn't pull to one side. Good. Okay. Your mock test starts now. Whenever you're ready, I would like you to drive off, please, for me. Roundabout, I would like you to turn left, please. First exit. And the next roundabout, take the third exit to your right, please. Next roundabout, take the third exit to your right space towards Lower Darwin.
second, I would like you to park your car anywhere to the left, please. Thank you, and then drive off again whenever it's safe to do so, please. When it's safe to do so, can you please sh show me how can you open and close your window, please? Thank you. like you to take the next road to your right uh, because the road ahead is closed. I would like you to take the next road to your left, please. At the end of this road, I would like you to turn left, please.
at the end of this road I would like you to turn left please at the end of this road I would like you to turn right please And I would like you to take the next road to your left is a very sharp left turning. And follow the road to the right please. I would like you to take the next road to your left. At the end of this road, turn right. At the end of this road, I would like you to turn left, please. I would like you to take the next road to your right, please. of this road I would like you to turn right please Park your car anywhere to the left, please. Okay. okay, so going back to the test mode. Drive off again whenever you are ready, please, for me.
roundabout, I would like you to turn left, please. First stays. I would like you to pull up to the right, please. Pull over to the right. Thus, secure the car. Thank you. So, Georgia, I would like you to do the maneuver, please. So, I would like you to reverse your car back two cars then, please. Make sure that keep your car reasonably close to the right curb. Whenever it's safe to do so, let's do the maneuver, please. You done? Thank so. Okay, secure your car, please. Thank you, and then drive off again whenever it's safe to do so, please. end of this road, I would like you to turn right going towards Blackburn M65.
next traffic light, I would like you to turn left, please, going towards Lower Darwin, Ewood Park. Next roundabout, I would like you to take the first exit to your left, please. Next roundabout, take the third exit to your right, please. Okie dokie, so this is your mock test finish over here. Now I want you to relax yourself. <laughs> Secure oh, your car. Try it. Relax. No, not relax. Messed up on that first lifting roundabout, didn't I? Well, what did you mess up? Because I couldn't see mm. my lane, but I was obviously holding up everybody behind me, and um, that guy was letting me go. 
so I could have just gone. But I weren't 100% sure that there was nothing coming because I couldn't see, so maybe I should have freaked out a little bit, I think. And I, when I thought, why am I now doing it? I thought, should I keep out? But I just didn't. Okay, that's fine. Do you want to drink your water and I will oh, tell yeah. you all that? Mm -hmm. Right, hit me on. Okay. Right, so number one, when it's raining and your vision is restricted at the front for the windscreen, mm -hmm. what you should do? Put my windscreen wipers on. Yeah, I think I remember that quite late. I did put them on eventually, but not you for did, a long time. But yeah. Did your view get restricted? Maybe. So going back to your discussion, you said I don't know who's coming from the right. What if you had your wipers on? Would that make a, some small difference for your view? If I was if I was out, maybe like here, do you mean? Yes. Yeah, a little bit there. It would have helped you, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. What? Okay. Also, what about the examiner? Because your windscreen is would yeah, he or she able to? Yeah. No. Yeah, I don't think the examiner will fail you. What you did is fine. Um, yes. So you're right. So you did stop your car there. Mm -hmm. It was a risky business. However look out for the body behavior that small car was not moving he's maintaining the gap why because he wanted to use that car as a blocker as a shield so that car is not moving definitely however you know there's another lane over there mm -hmm. in that situation because you are now pretty confident that guy is not moving what you could have done creep out block that car yeah, so he can't move, so I know he's not going anywhere. He's not going anywhere, he's yeah. giving you the way. Yeah. So block that car, then stop. Then, then leave, yeah. So what you were trying to do, you're trying to move and look across through that car, which is even yeah. more difficult. Yeah. So once you have got 100% sure that that car is blocking and not going, is letting you go, use that space. Yeah. I knew I'd myself as soon as I did it. <laughs> I don't think so. You're going to get serious fall for that. You will get a minor fall for okay, that one. Yeah. Okay. For hesitation. So that is one minor for that one. Remember that though, yeah? On I mean overall be honest with you, you did very, very well. I mean it was a tough route, especially that diversion, not easy. Yeah. But as I say, you need to prepare for anything. Mm -hmm. Now you only have got two serious falls. Can I guess what they are? Go on then. That white car and I have to reverse. That would definitely want to work in a front. That to go is from. definitely a serious fault. Yeah. The reason why you okay, we'd gone through this before as well. First few times you were going and then old oncoming cars, you can see from their body behavior, they start pulling over, yeah. they're giving you the way. That lady, however, did not. Yeah. She was driving in the middle and she was pushing her speed. And you thought, but the problem is the car is parked on the both sides. So nobody have got a priority. Mm -hmm. So you're really relying on their body behavior. Yeah. She was in she no yeah. mood to give you. So, but yeah. the reason why is more serious for you, which you did not understand so far. You stopped. Okay, so you have to reverse your car. But before reversing, you did not put any effort my to do your observations. Yeah, okay. Yeah. If luckily, obviously, I did check there was a no car behind, so I let you go. If there would be any car behind, examiner or myself would have pressed a brake mm -hmm. because that would be a danger yeah. fault. And that means then after that, examiner would have parked your car somewhere to the left and he or she will terminate your test because you're risking other property at risk or the life at risk. So don't put under pressure. But the thing is, you ask yourself this question why is this happening at first instance why yeah. you won't we should have just you could have yeah. stopped you were doing so stop. nicely yeah i were doing so good on the arrow street until it came yeah that, that is your first serious yeah. fault now remain on that road so we went all the way to the end and we turned left mm -hmm. and that road is even more narrow there was an occasion where there was a car parked on the left mm -hmm. there was a car coming who stopped to give you the way yeah. however what you did you decided to carry on going there was a car parked over there if I would you, just because somebody is giving you the way, and this is for you guys, just because somebody is giving you the way, doesn't mean you always can go. Okay. There was not enough room for you to go that time because it was, you went that close mm -hmm. from the side wing mirror to side wing mirror from that park car. What you could have done, just before those two cars, there was a gap. Okay. You could have that. just gone, stop into this gap here, 
let that car go past you and check your mekune put around you yeah, yeah. You try to squeeze yourself in and you will reach really that close. Okay, yeah. That is your second CS okay. fault. And that's the only two CS fault you okay, have. Okay, we can work on them. Yes. I mean, again, this is not your test route, but you never know. If the road work doesn't finish, you might yeah. end up doing that. Now, this is, I'm giving you a very, very close margin of benefit of doubt. I'm giving you minor row. There was a road where... We went to the T junction. We stopped. We're turning right. It was that van. So van. Yeah. So you did the right thing. You tried to go around it. No problem. Now there was a grey car was coming. Did yeah, you I saw you look. <laughs> I thought, oh, I saw you going. Oh. And now I knew that, the traffic lights there as well. That car was because slightly far back, not close enough. Yeah. I'm giving you benefit. That car would have been slightly more closer. It would have been safe. Would have been safe. Yeah. All danger though. Yeah. So you go to anticipate. Okay, I'm going. Now, look at that. This is very important for you guys and for you, Georgia. Think about the common sense there. So, the traffic is stopped at the temporary traffic light. Yeah, so, something so that, that means, that yes. Yeah. I didn't think that. That but, what yeah. is your thought yeah, yeah, process yeah, yeah. should be. Yeah. That, okay, they're not coming. That means somebody might be yeah. coming from the other side. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. You just get away with that. <laughs> I'm giving you minor for that, okay? Yeah. I'm giving you another minor. Uh, there was an occasion we were going downhill and there was a car from the that lady she tried to make a u-turn you did very good oh, so yeah, I know. I you did, saw yeah. her you I did go her. around it yeah. which is the right thing but yeah. before you go around what you did not did do not check my mirrors? you did not okay. check your mirrors oh, I've been trying to really do that but yeah I think yeah. I'm sure I missed it I, I did not see well, you had movement I may be wrong we'll but it, I, it's okay we'll put it down. I, I think you did not see it so yeah. that will be a minor if I'm wrong, obviously we see that though, yeah? Yeah. Uh, now, there's two occasions. I definitely 100% show on this okay. one. So, do you know when there was a T-junction where the big farm is? So, the speed limit changing to 40 and you're turning right, right. to Roman Road. Yeah. As you turn right, because you're picking up a speed, what must you do before Check picking up? You need not do that. Okay. And also... Remember that I said to you that at the traffic light, you're turning left from the Roman road to the yeah. stop row. You did very well. You slow down everything. Good. You have to change your lane. Everything yeah. was good. Yeah. But when you turn left in the new road, before picking up your speed, I didn't check them again. You didn't check okay. them again. That's it. So That's not... It's, we can work on that. So it's okay. For the first mock test, you did one, two, three, four, five minors and only two serious faults which those meeting situation and the clearance, yeah. which be honest with you, looking at the circumstances is a tough one. Yeah. But, okay, the second one where you went too close, definitely yeah, is, definitely I said, that, yeah. and the first one you could have done as well easily. So yeah. it's a learning process yeah. for you. So hopefully you watch oh. your videos go back. But I think you did very well, be honest with you, looking at the circumstances. So I'm very proud of you and I think you was gonna keep doing yeah. mock tests on every yeah. and your maneuvers were very very oh. good and you were keeping your distance was nice and you're stopping for the cars excellent work so overall very good okay. we're just gonna keep doing your maneuver or mock test from yeah. up until your test yeah, yeah? Clear any problem any question on your test today no use your window screen wrappers as and when you need it don't yeah. leave for the two yeah. later yeah yeah okay. Right guys, that's it from me and that's it from Georgia. She did very well for the first mock test. It's not easy, especially on her test route. We have to go to the diversion and that road is extremely difficult for meeting and clearing. So Georgia did very well. There was a, unfortunately some timing of decision she made a little bit wrong, but it's a learning experience. I'm sure next mock test she will do perfect. So that's it from me and hopefully you might see Georgia again. See you guys next time and see from Georgia. Bye. There you go. Uh, I, I think you did very well. It was all right, yeah. I thought I got more than that. No. I definitely.